Hello and welcome to History Pod. On the 2nd of August 1873, the Clay Street Hill Railroad was successfully tested, becoming San Francisco's first operational cable car. The founder of the steam engine powered, cable driven transportation system in San Francisco was British born inventor Andrew Smith Halliday. He originally travelled to California with his father to invest in the gold mining industry, but later turned to manufacturing wire rope in San Francisco. By the end of the 1860s, he had become a respected and wealthy businessman. A popular story says that he was inspired to create a cable-driven railway for the city's notoriously steep hills in order to avoid horses being injured by runaway streetcars. An alternative origin story states that Halliday took over an existing proposal from local attorney Benjamin H. Brooks, who was unable to raise the capital to fund its construction. Engineer William Eppelsheimer designed the Clay Street system, which ran a total of 2,800 feet from the intersection of Clay and Kearney Streets to the crest of the hill, climbing 307 feet in the process. Driven by a moving cable running below the street that was powered by a steam engine in a central powerhouse, cars could attach and detach from the cable by the use of a grip mechanism. The first successful demonstration of the system occurred shortly after sunrise on the 2nd of August. Some accounts say that, having looked down the steep hill, the first gripman hired by Halliday refused to operate the car. Consequently, Halliday took control himself and completed the journey without any problems. At the bottom, the car was moved onto a turntable, turned 180 degrees and reattached to the cable to successfully ascend the hill. Following this positive test, San Francisco's first cable car system began regular service on the 1st of September, 1873.